The test planning application allows users to press the plus button to add rounds of tests, sprints, groups of tests. These are referred to as cycles. Now cycles are subdivided into a series of phases. These phases can be conditions, sub areas of testing. So if you want to add a test, go to the add phase area, create a test case based on the folder structure of your test case repository, or create a new freeform phase. Then we can head into a phase, use the assign button, and we can build folder structures within the phase. Again, these sub areas, these subfolders can refer to conditions or sub areas of testing. Using this approach of going to the three dots on the right hand side of the phase and adding in a folder, we can add in other sub areas and subfolders too. Now, leveraging the button on the left hand side, we can add in test cases. A quick search or a, a ZQL query can allow retrieval of test cases from the repository. Hit the Save button and the test cases are added to the selected phase. Now that the test cases have been added, we can select them and assign them to a particular tester. If we multi-select, we can assign to all testers using any one. We can also use the checkboxes and assign to a particular tester. So in this case we've assigned these three and we can follow the same process for the other test cases as well. Now phase reports can be created by using the export button. This allows for system fields and custom fields to be reported on in HTML, PDF and Word. We can also head back to the cycle view and create cycle based reports as well as phase based reports. Now in the dashboards application we can see all of the cycle and phase information by going to test case execution by cycle, clicking on a cycle and then we can see the corresponding phase data all test cases that have passed, failed, that are in work in progress, blocked, any other custom statuses, also the unexecuted test cases are shown here.